Good morning, Year 10, and welcome to another assembly. Um, as always, here is our quiz for this week. Can you guess the 20 tube stations shown in the emojis on the slide? Um, congratulations to Amelia. She was the winner of last week's movie quiz. Um, it'll be great to have lots of entries again this week as well, because it was nice to have loads of students to choose from. Today's book review is of Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi, and it is a fantasy novel inspired by West African mythology. Um, now, this book tells the story of a world which was once full of magic, but had it stripped by a ruthless king. The main character, Zeli, has one chance to not only bring back magic, but also fight against the oppression of her people. Now, it's an absolutely fantastic book. I've read it and I know Carmela also has as well. Um, so if you're struggling with picking a new book to start, maybe give this one a go. Today's assembly will be focusing on value three, which is about having a desire to contribute to society in a positive way. To get us thinking about it, what numbers are important to you? Now, maybe you immediately thought of your phone number or a loved one's phone number, maybe your door number or your birthday, if you have a lucky number, perhaps your age, how many likes you got on your last social media post, perhaps, or those more academic inclined. Maybe it's the grade that you are currently on or that you're aspiring to get or where you're ranked on the ATL score. I'm sure none of you, though, picked the number 26. And this is a number that has been appearing quite regularly in the news recently um, because it's linked to the London Marathon, which was due to take place on Sunday, the 26th of April. Now, unfortunately, this year is the first time the race has been postponed since its launch in 1981. And although it's obviously a disappointment to the runners and those who would normally take part, it's also one of many thousand fundraising events which have had to be cancelled this year. The London Marathon alone is the world's biggest one day fundraising event and raised 66.4 million pound last year for thousands of charities in 2019. Now, the number 26 is important because as a result of this, the 2.6 challenge has been launched. Now, many charities have had to reduce or stop the services that they'd normally have um, at a time when vulnerable members of society need them the most. There are also thousands of staff who've been placed on furlough and many charities don't think they'll survive the next few months, which means that the services that they are providing then um, will no longer be there. The 2.6 challenges encourage us to pick a challenge related to the number 2.6 or 26, which is the number of miles in a marathon and also the date that the event was due to have taken place on and then fundraise or donate to our chosen charity. Now, there are many ways you can take part. Um, ones that I've seen so far is um, a lady who ran 2.6 miles instead of the full 26 miles in the London Marathon that she would have done. Um, someone who baked 26 cookies and delivered them to their local friends and family. Um, some girls who curated a Lego tower, which was 2.6 metres tall. And our very own Miss Harvey, who did a badminton volley of 26. Um, in school yesterday. If you want more information on the challenge, go to 2.6challenge.co.uk and I look forward to seeing how you take part. As always, it's really nice to hear the amazing things you guys are doing at home during this time. Uh, Kaina, as always, has been taking some beautiful pictures and also doing some editing and experimenting with her pictures. Um, as you can see in the video, um, it, she is currently missing her homeland of Pakistan. Um, so spent some time drawing a mosque, which is absolutely fantastic. We also have some more bakers in the year group. I was very jealous of these stunning lemon drizzle cakes from Sade on the left and Kai on the right. As always, I look forward to hearing about what you are getting up to. So drop me an email, drop me a video, drop me a picture, and I will share it in next week's assembly. Today's reminders um, are more about what I emailed out earlier this week with the new timetable. Now, I know a lot of you were maybe a bit confused by the initial timetable, so I have started streamlining it and personalising it for students. The overarching message is that you are making sure you are checking your email every single morning, particularly on a Monday when you need to respond to your tutor's email. On top of that, there are then three and sometimes four subjects for you to do every single day, 
with some time on a Friday to catch up on any work that you're behind on throughout the week. Please, 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 if you need help developing your own personal timetable, just drop me an email. I don't mind helping you with that. But it is important that you are sticking to the deadlines and checking show my homework on the relevant days. Again, if you are stuck with submissions, please make sure you are emailing your teachers. Today's shout outs are for Elena and Georgina for some absolutely stunning maths work, Tia for some stunning media work, Sophie and Dip for being really honest with their teachers and doing their best to stay on top of their work, and Julie, Seb, Molly, Alana, Kyle, Harry Wright, Melania, Lily, Sade, Amelia, Julia, Angelina, Karina, Hannah, Lubna, Ashira, Afia and Yovana who submitted every single piece of work due last week. Now, you guys know me well, I wasn't going to let that shout out go without there being some sort of celebration. So each week I'm going to do a prize draw of two students who have submitted all of their work for this week. Um, I will make a draw and you'll be in with a chance to win an Amazon voucher. So those students I have put into a spinner. And let's see who our first winner will be. That looks like it's going to be Melania. Congratulations, you have got the first voucher. Check your email to see the voucher and to use it. Let's see if we can get a second winner. Oh, it's slowing. Julia, congratulations. So Melania and Julia, please check your email today. There will be an Amazon voucher in your email. Everybody else, a reminder, submitting all your work, which is the what you should be doing anyway, gets you in with a chance to get that Amazon voucher. The only other announcement I have this week is that there is a virtual urban scholar programme on Saturday the 9th of May from 9.45 to 3.15 p.m. Um, the day will feature a number of workshops and don't worry, you don't need a laptop to access it. If you took part in Urban Scholars at any point this year, you'll be contacted by Antoine via WhatsApp, phone call or email this week with more details. As always, stay safe, stay healthy and stay kind. <laughs>